So here we're going to take a look at how to make tables in uh, LaTeX. So we're going to actually see two ways. Um, first, we're going to take a look at what, what I'll call the, um, the normal uh, table. So this is the one that's in the, the basic uh, LaTeX. Um, a normal table. We'll begin. And now the command for a table is tabula. Um, and then what follows is a set of indications as to how we want our table to look. So use this pipe symbol to indicate vertical lines, and then we use uh, letters to indicate how we want our document um, to be aligned. So this is saying I want three columns with lines either side of each column, and the first column to be left aligned, there's a letter L here, the second column to be center aligned, and the final one to be right aligned. Um, and then I can start writing my table. So H line is the command for a horizontal line. And then I can write name. And then the separator is the, uh, the and symbol. And then uh, gender and uh, start time, just as random uh, examples. And then we can use another H line. And then we can put, for example, names of people. Um, and we use this double slash, which is a different direction to this slash, to indicate a new line. And that that you, that works inside a table, but also in LaTeX, it's a it's a command that can be used outside in various other places to indicate I want you to go to the next line here. Um, let's do a, a few uh, more. Let me put a another H line here. Um, Lan female and um, eight thirty, and then um, on the final one, Lisa um, female and seven thirty, and then we are going to have one final horizontal line, and then we need to end the tabular environment. And I'm going to unindent that. We'll see this is kind of all over the place, and that's fine. This will compile, as we can we can see here. We see a table has a has appeared, but we could also, if we wanted to, to make our code a bit more readable, align these symbols so it actually starts to look like like a table. This doesn't change anything from the point of view of our document, but it just means that it's. Um, easier to, to read the code at a later a later point. Um, there is another way of uh, writing tables in LaTeX, and that uses what's called a package. So if we go to our preamble, and we load up a package called book tabs, and we do that by using use package book tabs. Um, this is a specific table, a specific package for tables that makes tables look a little nicer. And this is really the strength of LaTeX, that there are all these packages that make it easier to do things. And so um, I'm actually just going to uh, copy the table we have here, and I'm going to make the modifications um, necessary. So the big difference is we don't use um, top rule. Um, I'm going to get rid of some of the, some of the uh, vertical uh, lines because we don't really need them. And um, here I'm going to use mid rule, and I'm also going to get rid of these H lines. Here and here, I'm going to use um, bottom rule. So these commands, top rule, mid rule, and bottom rule, they come out of book tabs. And now, if I if I compile my document, you see that the table looks a bit a bit nicer. I'm going to include some text here. I'm going to go um, here is a table with the book tabs package. We just see it. It looks uh, like a slightly nicer um, table with better spacing and things like that. So book tabs is how I'd recommend writing tables. <laughs>